Well, hello, 1P, and welcome to Exterior Angles in a Polygon. Uh, our goal today, I understand what is meant by the exterior angle of a polygon, and I can find the sum of all the exterior angles. And then we're going to do a few questions and use the idea that we know um, the exterior angles of a polygon. So, exterior angles of polygons. What the heck do I mean by an exterior angle of a polygon? Well, I've got them drawn on this triangle here, and we've already talked about the triangle's exterior angles. And I just want to show you uh, what, show you how we can figure out what the exterior angles of a, of a triangle are. Um, or at least what they all add up to. Now, we know that inside the triangle, all of those angles add up to 180 degrees. We know that. We've worked with that. We're comfortable with that. We also know that this straight line is 180 degrees, so that this angle and this angle add up to 180 degrees. And we know that this is a straight line, and it is such that this angle in here and this angle in here add up to 180 degrees. And one more time, there's a straight line where this angle and this angle both add up to 180 degrees. So an exterior angle of a polygon is created when the side of a polygon is extended like I have here. Notice that an interior and an exterior angle always form a straight line and add up to 180 degrees. Have you counted how many times I said 180 degrees? Must be pretty important. There are three pairs of interior exterior angles in a triangle. So if we added up all of the interior and the exterior pairs, so all of them, if I take if I take this and add this, and then add this, and then add this, and then add this, and then add this, I don't even have to know what those, I don't have to know what each of those things are individually. I don't have to know what each of those things are individually. I don't have to know what each of those things are individually because I know since those add up to 180 degrees that all I really have to do is take 180 degrees and add it three times. Or an easier thing to do is to say I've got three pairs of them. I'm going to multiply it by three. And 180 multiplied by three gives us 540 degrees. Okay, so I know if I take all of these things and add them up, I get 540 degrees. Okay, so since we know that the interior angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees, what do the exterior angles add up to? Well, I know that the interior plus the exterior gives me the total, and the total was 540. My pen's not writing for some reason. Oh, there it goes. Just a little slow. Okay. Um, the exterior will therefore equal the total minus the interior angle. So the total was 540. Again, a little slow for some reason. And I know that all of the interior angles have to add up to 180. So if I subtract 180, I get 540 degrees for the total, the interior exterior pairs, and 180 degrees in the inside gives me 360 degrees. So for a triangle, all of these outside angles, um, let's actually just take away these things. What this tells me that is if I have a triangle and I take these three outside angles. If I add them all together, I get 360 degrees. So this is, let's call this triangle, or angle A, angle B, and angle C, and we know that A plus B plus C has to equal 360 degrees. And that's what we had down here. Okay, let's try it with a quadrilateral. Now, quadrilateral has four sides. What I want to do here is figure out um, what all of these exterior angles add up to. So I've done those in pink. I want to know what the pink ones add up to. Now, what I do know, 
and I'm going to put the blue ones on the inside. I do know that a pink plus a blue equals 180 degrees because we've got that relationship again where all of the interior and exterior pairs equal 180 degrees. So the pink plus the blue is 180 degrees. Now how many pink and blue pairs do I have? I've got one, two, three, four. So how many interior exterior pairs? There's four of them, the same as the number of sides. Okay. Total of all interior and exterior pairs? Well, we know that each one is 180 degrees, so I have to do four times 180 degrees. And that turns out to be 720. Now, the interior angles in a quadrilateral. Let's see if we can remember how to do that. There's four sides, so remember I have to take four and take away two from it and then multiply by 180. So I take the number of sides, subtract 2, and then multiply by 180. So that is 2 times 180, which is 360. Now I do expect you to remember a quadrilateral because it's like a square and square has 90 degrees in the corner. Um, a quadrilateral is also very much like a circle. Circle has 360 degrees all around it. So the exterior angles in a quadrilateral, what are they going to add up to? Well, I'm going to have to take the total, 720, and subtract the interior, 360. And that's going to give me the exterior. And 720 minus 360 is actually 360. So what do you notice about triangles and quadrilaterals? Their exterior angles both add to 360 degrees. So what do you think the total of all the exterior angles in a pentagon will be? Well, we could do the same thing. We could draw a pentagon, extend the sides, just like that. And then we'd have to figure out what's here, and here, and here, and here, and here, what those all add up to. And we could do it exactly the same way as we had here. But what would your gut instinct tell you? I actually think that if triangles are 360 and quadrilaterals are 360, then probably a pentagon will be 362. So I think a pentagon... will also have exterior angles totaling 360 degrees. That's my suspicion. Uh, now I'm going to click on this uh, applet and let's see if I can confirm my suspicions. Here's my applet, and here's a pentagon. And now this is, oops, this is like the one that I was showing you before for the interior angles, except this one has exterior angles. Let's make this a regular pentagon first. Notice that they're all exactly the same. The exterior ones are all exactly the same. Um, and they total 360 degrees and it doesn't matter how big or how small, they total 360. Or if I don't make this a regular one, I make it weird, and I move these around, and I turn them into strange looking pentagons, it does not matter what I do to this thing. Those angles are always still adding up to 360 degrees. Uh, let's keep going. There's six sides. A hexagon. Again, exterior angles total 360 degrees. Seven sides. A septagon. All those angles still total 360 degrees. So, my suspicions have been confirmed. The exterior angles in any polygon will add up to 
360 degrees. Now we're going to do a few examples of, well some of these you might be able to use and some of them maybe not. You may may not be able to use uh, the fact that the exterior angles add up to 360, but we're going to take a look at these things. Find D. Well, I need to know what this is. Now, since I don't have any other exterior angles, it would be nice to know what this is. Now, here's something. This is called a kite. I've got two sides that are the same here and two sides that are the same here. When that happens, this angle and this angle are exactly the same. So I know that this angle in here is 136 degrees. So I know how to find this one in here. Let's actually give it a name. Let's call it X. And so we can figure out X because everything in here has to add to 360. So I'm going to do 360 subtract 2 times 136 uh, subtract 32. And that's the way I'm going to type it into the calculator too. I'm going to take 360, subtract 2 times 136, subtract 32. And so angle X is 56 degrees. And I'm going to give a reason for that here. I'm going to say interior angles. because that's how we found it. We used all the interior angles. And now I happen to know that these two things together have to add up to 180 degrees. So I know that X plus D has to equal 180. So D is going to equal 180 minus my X, which I found is 56. Let's try to do this in our heads. 180 minus 50 would be 130, and then I have to minus 6 on top of that, so that's 124 degrees. And here, the reason for that is because this is a straight line, or a straight angle. Straight angle. Okay, find x, y, and z. What can we find out about this? Well, I know that these two things have to add up to 180 degrees. So I say Z equals 180 minus 38. 180 minus 30 is 150 and then I have to minus 8 so that's 142. And that is because that is a straight angle. Um, now, how do I figure out this in here? Well, <clears throat> I can figure out that in there if I know, um, well, I know that this side, remember when we did the triangle? The triangle said that this out here is going to equal this and this together. So I can figure that out. This is the exterior angle of a triangle. I can figure out X because I know that X and this have to add up to 85. So I need to do 85 subtract 38. Let's try doing that in our head again, shall we? 85 subtract 30 is going to be 55. Then I have to subtract 8 on top of that. So 55 subtract 8. 8, I have to subtract 5 and then 3. That subtracts 8, so that's going to be 47 degrees. Okay, um, so now I know x. Can I figure out y? Well, yep, I can figure out y because these two things together have to equal 180 degrees. So uh, we say y has to equal 180 degrees minus 47. And the reason for that is for because it's also a straight angle. The reason for this is because of the exterior angle theorem for the triangle. We call it EAT. Okay, let's actually figure this one out. 180 minus 40 
would be 140, and then I have to subtract 7 again, so it's going to be 133 degrees because of the straight angle. Okay, find x if the pictures shown below are regular polygons. Okay, they're regular, so all of these x's are going to be exactly the same. Now, I know that the whole thing has to be 360. And I know that if I extend all of the sides the way that was extended, just go around like this, I know that this, 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 and this all have to add up to 360 degrees. Well, since it's a pentagon, there's one, two, three, four, five of them. So to figure out what 1x is, I just have to do 360 divided by 5 because they're all going to be exactly the same. And that's going to be 72 degrees. And I did that one in my head too because 5 goes into 36 um, 7 times. And then there's one left over so 5 goes into 10 twice. Uh, how about this one over here? How many sides do we have? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 7. So to figure out what x is, I have to take 360 degrees, because there's going to be 7 exterior angles, and divide it by 7. Now this is going to give me a decimal, so I'm not going to do that in my head. 360 divided by 7 is 51.4 approximately. And there we go. That concludes this video. And that concludes uh, the lessons in geometry.